Well, Greg, officers have been caught hiding things recently, most notably in the Martavius Banks case, where they say they turned off their body cameras right before shooting a man who was critically injured. And now state lawmakers say they want to make that a criminal offense. WREG is now learning the full story of what Memphis police say happened the night of September 17th when officers shot Martavius Banks, leaving him in critical condition. Police say three officers deliberately hid their actions from supervisors, communicating on a radio frequency that dispatch couldn't hear, and turning off their body cameras before the shooting. The one who pulled the trigger resigned. Three others got suspended. We just think that behavior is egregious, and we think that these officers received a slap on the wrist. Arthur Horn represents the family of 26 year old Banks. State Representative G.A. Hardaway says experiences like theirs made him want to do more. What we want to do is to take the, uh, the issue of tampering with evidence, of obstructing justice, and put some, uh, some specific uh, language into the Tennessee Code. Hardaway's proposal means officers would face felony charges for intentionally disabling a body camera, in essence, obstructing justice. But representatives with the Memphis Police Association say the officers involved in the bank shooting have already been punished appropriately. Body camera policy violations should be exactly that, a policy violation, not a criminal law violation. Uh, we feel it's not only excessive. We feel like it adds to uh, the stress that a police officer already has to put up with. He calls the timing suspect. He doesn't think legislators should react to what he sees as a few bad apples in the department. But when Mayor Strickland spoke about this incident last year, he said it was already one of dozens of cases of officers doing the same exact thing, turning off their body cameras when they should be rolling.